on Honduras. This is the main plaza. whose uh, ancient name uh, appears to have been Shukpi. The uh, glyph for this site is actually an image of a bat. So that must have been important uh, in this area. There were inhabitants here as early as 900 BC, and uh, it was a major site in the pre-classic times. So this is a little bit unusual. Although all we see here probably does come from the Mayan classic period. The uh, founder of their classic dynasty, his name is Yashk Ukmo. And, um, that began in 426 A.D., probably with uh, some influence from uh, Teotihuacan. So that's a, a long distance for the influence to spread. We still see it here. So uh, Copan is actually very famous for its stella. Um, there is a particular type of volcanic rock that is very easy to carve. And so in this area we have almost sculpture in the round. It's pretty much the highest form of Mayan carving. We'll also see on many of the, the uh, statues of the kings, we'll see sort of a fake beard which was fashionable here and at Quirigua as well. We don't quite know what that meant to the Maya, but we do see it in this area, since there was connection between Copan and Quirigua. Uh, shows the fake beard there on the ruler and the turban-like um, head covering we only see here at Copan. The top corners you see what look like two elephant trunks, although I've seen the, uh, the Mayan glyph for the macaw. Mo, and it actually looks like that, so, so archaeologists say those are actually uh, macaws, or the glyph for macaw. This is a uh, large representation of a tortoise in front of uh, Stella C. Uh, Stella C has representation of an old man on the one side and a younger one on the other. And um, the, tor the tortoise was a symbol of death in the underworld because of its association with water. And the guide here was explaining that um, with the burials here, that there was a belief, uh, ancient one even to this day, that if children died at the age of seven or above, they were placed facing a different position than if a child died at the age of eight and after, because if a child of seven and above was pure and went straight to glory and was different than a child of eight. So there was a difference in how they were buried. This is King Gay Rabbit. You serious? Yeah. interesting in that he was actually captured by Kawak Sky of Copan and decapitated. Um, but he built the most of the stelae that are here. And this one is interesting because it is cash at the offering the base is the earliest example of gold found in the Mayan area from 730 AD and that comes from lower Central America. This is the hieroglyphic stairway uh, in Copan. There are 2,200 glyphs all the way up there. And uh, they've been kind of jumbled by uh, early uh, reconstruction attempts, so we're not quite sure what they say, but it's the largest collection of Mayan glyphs ever. What's interesting about this is about half of them are Mayan glyphs, and half of them are written in sort of a Teotihuacan style of writing. So uh, that's an unusual, unique feature here uh, in the Mayan world. But been mixed around, put in the wrong place, we're really not sure what they're supposed to say anymore. Wow, that's pretty cool. This is Altar Q, and it shows the 16 kings of Copan. So this is made by the 16th king, Yashk Ukmo, and then it goes around there to the 16th one right here. Now what's interesting is over here, we have a king whose name is Smok Inish, and he is identified by a glyph that says five Katun. Uh, Katun is an, almost a 20-year period. So he's so it's sometimes called Lord Five Katun because his reign uh, passed through five different Katuns. So a very long reign right there, you can tell by that glyph. What about the turbans? The turbans, again, uh, unique to Copan. You only see that, that here in, in this area. So the 17th was the last king of Copan. By the way, we have most of the... And um, the by then the population was very the dense and they were suffering. This is structure 16. Um, and underneath uh, here is a temple the called La Rosa Lila, which was built and stuccoed and painted uh, and then covered over. It was the last building to be made with stucco because of the intense deforestation that had happened here. Uh, so this temple is fully perfectly intact inside 
and there's a great replica of it at the museum. So it's really quite an impressive site. But again, by this uh, later time of Copan, 822, there was overpopulation. It was a very dense area. Deforestation, overpopulation, and starvation. And that's when Copan kind of fell apart and people left. Look at that, it's like an oversized rat. <laughs> Without a tail. I thought they were bigger.